Please welcome back, Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to go over in-stitch lettering. Mm -hmm. So stick around. In our previous tutorial, we talked about some of the key changes that came out in InkStitch version 2.0, one of which being, was the lettering GUI that came out. And we said we'd cover that in additional videos. So here it is. Mm -hmm. Megan, what is a lettering GUI? So lettering GUI is a graphical user interface. And what's it used for? So um, on this shirt, we used a fill stitch of um, text, but this is a satin stitch instead of a fill stitch. Right, so the key difference here with a, the lettering uh, GUI that comes with InkStitch version, the text and fonts, which we've previously used in previous videos, is the type of stitch that will sew out on your machine. The text and font stuff that we've used before, it's really just a fill stitch in the shape of a letter, whereas the lettering application in InkStitch will make it a satin stitch. And it's a lot like our custom satin stitch that we, we've covered in a previous tutorial, but it's already made for you. Mm -hmm. So you ready to get to it? Yeah. All right. So we've opened up Inkscape. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do what we normally do to bring up text using this text and font tool, which we've shown in, in the past for our previous projects. I'm just gonna type my name real quick. I'll make that bold and apply. Okay. Uh, so again, this is now text that we can edit and change but in order to stitch it out we have to convert it to a path which basically just turns this letter into the shape of a letter uh, as an as an individual path so we can't edit the text anymore but when it stitches out it's going to stitch out as any other object which would be in this case a fill stitch in black um, so we'll go ahead and show that we're going to go ahead and uh, ungroup this real quick and then we'll go ahead and break it apart and for here we'll go ahead and do an exclusion and get rid of that there we go all right so now we'll go ahead and highlight everything and do a params check to kind of see this So this looks fine, right? Uh, but it's not a satin stitch. It's going to like stitch in there uh, in a certain direction all the time. So what if we wanted something that stitched like this and then it, wanted, it, it went with the path of this M like any other satin stitch would go? Well, that's where the lettering GUI comes in. So we'll go ahead and close this and show you the lettering GUI. So. If you go to extensions, ink stitch, lettering, it'll pull up a pop-up menu where you can then add some text. So right now, go ahead and, these are the fonts that are available. And I'm just gonna do something simple. I'll do this ink stitch medium font. Oh, there's more down here. Yeah. Ink stitch medium. We're gonna type in your text. So you can see here the difference in the stitch. It's gonna kind of flow with each letter just a little bit differently. You see that around this, this E in particular, the stitch flows around, which is you know how satin stitches are kind of unique. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply and quit. And what you'll notice is it's gonna add this here this doesn't look anything like what we just saw. It looks like a railroad. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Just like we showed in our ink stitch tutorial two with a custom satin stitch, this lettering application within ink stitch makes the railroad tracks for you to give you that particular letter stitch out. Just like that. As you can see, you've got your main tracks and then you've got these kind of crosses that go across that show the the angle that 
all of these things are going to go or are the path of the stitch is going to go so we'll go ahead and do a uh, param stick of this so you can see it's way different than the other stitch out and this may be what you're desiring for your project for that set and stitch. So we'll go ahead and show you a, a simulator realistic preview on both so that we can see kind of the differences. I'll go ahead and make this the same size. So this realistic preview really kind of highlights the difference in the different kinds of stitches here. So when you see a, a normal embroidery project with text, it usually has satin stitched lettering. And if your sewing machine has built in lettering, it will typically be a satin stitch like this uh, versus a fill stitch like this top one. And again, depends on your project and what you want, but this is cool to have that option available to you to be able to incorporate this into your design rather than possibly having to use your machine to add text with a satin stitch later. This will really give some diversity in projects. Yep, it sure will. So if you want to change the color on it, it's really simple. You just uh, highlight it and then you're going to hit shift and then your color because this is a stroke. Uh, these little lines are strokes. So you can change your color like that and it will stitch out your basically custom satin stitch in its in the color there. So we're going to go ahead and make a quick project that would use something like this uh, satin stitched lettering. So we're going to make a quick little name tag. What do you think about that, Meg? Yeah. All right, so that'll be my simple little name tag. So let's see if we can embroider this out. Do a params check. Uh-oh, looks like we have a fault. What root now? So what happens here is Ink Stitch doesn't seem to know how to stitch out this custom satin stitch on top of a fill stitch at least what we found out in playing around with it. So you'll notice here, if you just select the text, just select that text and then we'll do a params check. That seems to work. So all, all seems well right now, right? So I'm gonna hit apply and quit. And then if you select the other part of your design or the part of the design that is underneath that text, I'm gonna select all of that and do a params check on that. It seems to work as well. So it's a little frustrating now that it isn't working together. Well, here's what we've learned it kind of doesn't matter if the individual parts will stitch out and you select all of it and it doesn't stitch out. Like this, when we get this error. We're gonna go ahead and take this to the realistic simulator preview and it actually works. very weird. I'm not really sure why that is, but just to show you, we'll go ahead and actually export this as a PES and stitch this out on our machine. But you can see here, it actually, actually looks pretty good. Looks like it would stitch out just fine. So we're going to go ahead and export this, even though we didn't get a good params check on it, because we know the issue is Ink Stitch believes there's a fill stitch in between these lines. Um, 
but we'll see what the results are. So let's go ahead and do this new embroider process by saving it as a zip file. That's how we prefer to do it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do this name tag. Zip. Save it. PES and SVG. OK. So let's bring this over to the machine and see what happens. Pretty great results and again this is the kind of stitching you would expect to see on a name tag um, with you know a satin stitch versus a fill stitch uh, we just have to get kind of past the nuance of not being able to do a, a complete params check of everything together mm -hmm. uh, but other than that after we learn that oh you can actually still stitch this out even though it doesn't kind of pass the params check uh, it, it turned out Pretty good. Mm -hmm. It looks very good. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye. Hey, peeps. Welcome back. <laughs>